This might seem like a bit of a random video idea, but I was just thinking earlier about my ideal battle between Ash versus Steven. If I had full control over the anime. I'm not saying my ideas are better than what we got. I just want to spend a bit of time talking about what I personally would have loved to see in their battle in the Masters 8. In my ideal world, each Masters 8 battle would be 6v6 battles, with Ash using two of his Pokemon Journeys Pokemon and four of his old Pokemon in each of the battles. So this is how I would envision Ash vs Steven. Steven would be using his shiny Mega Metagross because it's his ace. Steven would use Aggron because it was his main Pokemon in Advanced Generation. He'd use Cradilly because Cradilly has such a unique, fun battle style. He would use Alolan Sandslash to show that he's travelled the world. He'd use Armaldo because I love fossil Pokemon and he has one in the games. And finally, he'd use a Carbink because that's an incredibly unique Pokemon that not too many people would expect in a battle. Plus, he could have caught it in the X and Y series. It's literally a Pokemon that's a rock and a gem combined. Perfect for Steven. Ash Ketchum would use his Dracovish because the idea of a fossil versus fossil showdown between Ash's Dracovish and either Steven's Cradilly or Armaldo actually sounds incredible. I'm gutted we didn't get that in the real battle. Ash's other journeys Pokemon that he'd use has got to be Gengar. Gengar literally learned Will-O-Wisp, especially for him to stand a chance against Steven. And also, I loved Gengar's battle against Cradilly, so I wouldn't want to remove that. I'd also let Gengar Gigantamax in this battle, because the idea of Gengar using Ghostly G-Max moves against Steven's Mega Metagross sounds awesome. Ash's third Pokemon would absolutely be his Sceptile. I mean, come on, Sceptile is Ash's Hoenn ace, and Steven is Hoenn's champion. Sceptile absolutely deserves the opportunity to be one of the Pokemon to take down the Hoenn champion. That pick was just absolute common sense. The fourth Pokemon that Ash would use against Steven in the Masters 8 has got to be Torkoal, which may take a lot of you completely by surprise. But Torkoal grew so much in the Advanced Generation series. He even managed to put up a great battle against Brandon's Registeel. But then Tobias and Darkrai happened, and Torkoal's reputation absolutely plummeted. So I think that Torkoal, Ash's Hoenn fire type, getting the chance for redemption by performing really well against the Hoenn Champions Steel-type team sounds absolutely perfect to me. Ash's fifth Pokemon in my ideal Ash vs Steven battle would absolutely be Melmetal. Steven is a Steel-type specialist, so he would get absolutely incredibly hyped overseeing Ash using a Melmetal, since Melmetal are mythical Steel-type Pokemon from thousands of years ago, who are pretty much extinct in the modern day. I love the idea of Steven being super excited and hyped to meet and battle Ash's Melmetal. Plus, the idea of Ash showing up in the Masters 8 with a one-of-a-kind Pokemon like Melmetal, it just sounds amazing. And the sixth and final member of Ash's team in my ideal Ash vs Steven battle would without a doubt be Incineroar. Incineroar as a fire and dark type Pokemon is literally the perfect counter to Metagross as a steel and psychic type Pokemon. Incineroar would be like Ash's secret weapon to demolish Metagross. Plus, we still haven't seen Incineroar battling since he evolved in the Alola League, and that's absolutely insane to me. So Incineroar being the secret surprise weapon against Steven would be the biggest and most exciting way ever to fix that issue. So that was my personal ideal battle for Ash vs Steven in the Masters 8. Steven's Metagross, Agron, Cradilly, Sandslash, Armaldo, and Carbink versus Ash's Dracovish, Gengar, Sceptile, Torkoal, Melmetal, and Incineroar. 
I want to give a really quick honourable mention to Asher's Noctowl. I was so close to including it in this video because Noctowl is a shiny Pokemon who's known for using loads of psychic type moves. And of course, Steven's Metagross is a shiny Pokemon who is part psychic type. So the idea of a shiny versus shiny, psychic versus psychic battle, it just sounds so incredible. So Noctowl is a massive honourable mention. Let me know in the comments below what your ideal Ash vs Steven battle would have been. Once again, I'm not saying that my version is better than the version that we got. This was just a fun video to talk about other possibilities. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.